Today's video is about one of the most underappreciated Drifter lead vocalists ever. This great performer had a deep, soulful voice and provided soul to the Drifters. He is sometimes ignored since he joined the group after Benny King went solo and ironically took much of the group's fan base with him. The subject of today's video is all about Rudy Lewis. Before we start today's video, let's be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now without further ado, let's cue that intro. Charles Rudolph Harrow was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on August 23rd, 1936. Like many vocalists, he grew up in a church-going household that engaged in choir. This is when he began his gospel singing career. Around this time, he took up the name Rudy Lewis. Rudy was his childhood nickname since his middle name was Randolph. And Lewis, I'm not sure where it comes from, but if you do, please let me know in the comments below. Lewis was one of two men who had the opportunity to perform with the Clara Ward singers. Lewis continued with the group until he got the chance to audition for the Drifters manager, George Treadwell. Lewis auditioned went so well that Treadwell hired him on the spot, and Lewis quickly transitioned from gospel to secular music. The group needed that missing element after Benny King left and a 24-year-old Rudy Lewis was the answer. During his stint with the group, he provided lead on songs such as Please Stay, Don't Go, Please Stay, Don't Go, Kinda Wonderful, All You Have To Do Is Touch My Hand, To Show Me You, Up On The Roof, When This Soul World Starts Getting Me Down, and people are just stupid. And on Broadway. On Broadway. On Broadway. They say all Lewis also featured on more songs from the Drifters, such as Another Night with the Boys. Another Night with the Boys. I try. Jackpot. I never caught the brass ring on a merry go round. Let the music play. Let the music play just a little longer. Let Loneliness or happiness. Or happiness in store for me. Mexican divorce. El Paso lies. She never talked to me that way. To a guy named Jim, the things that you were telling him, you just talk and Somebody new dancing with you. Why must the band keep on playing? Stranger on the shore. Here I stand watching the And what to do. What to do? Lewis released two solo singles with Baby I Dig Love and I've Loved You So Long in April of 1963. Now these singles never charted. According to Billy Vera, Lewis was gay who hasn't came out yet. He also said that he was addicted to heroin and had a severe eating problem. Now all of this was speculation until the line of notes for the CD box set, Rockin' and Drifting, that was released in 1996. Lewis was discovered dead in his Harlem hotel room on May 21st, 1964 at the age of 27. An autopsy was never performed and his death was ruled to be a drug overdose by officials. His relatives and friends say that he died as a result of a drug overdose, asphyxiation, and a heart attack. But other accounts claim that Lewis 
was a bench eater who died in his sleep. Lewis had two singles that was released by Red Top Records before joining the Drifters in 1959 with Rainbow In My Eyes. And Nobody Knows. Now everything that I provided to you for Rudy Lewis is everything that I could find via the internet or interviews that I personally listen to. If there's anything that I got wrong or I didn't include, please let me know in the comments below and I will correct it in the future.